Carabao Cup final on Sunday. Manchester United's form compared to Newcastle's. How much does that matter going into this game? Yeah, everyone always says our oh, form goes out the window, but listen, there'll be times in the game where it will come to, to, to mind. If you, if you have a rocky patch in a game and you are lacking form going into that and you've been on a losing streak or things haven't gone well, there could be flashbacks. And it could go into your mind. Then it's about mental strength and being able to put that to one side. Can they do it? We're going into it in form. Newcastle are out of form, thankfully. Pope not playing. I think there's a lot of things that are kind of going in our favour. Um, and I think what I'd be stressing if I was in the dressing room right now would be like what this could be. This could catapult us confidence-wise wise into a place we've not been for a very long time. And what that would mean for the end of the season, the running, getting into the Champions League. Could we challenge for the title? If we win, how important will that first piece of silverware be to this squad? Because there are players here like Bruno who have been here for years and not won anything yet. Yeah, and I think those guys is going to be massive. Knowing how to win in a Man United shirt. You can win where you want. Casemiro, Varane have won major trophies multiple times. But they haven't felt winning in this stadium at Manchester United in a red shirt. So they'll be pining for that. Um, and all of the other young guys that have been in this squad and haven't won yet. Because like me, when I came here, the first thing I was thinking, I need to win to even to be able to look people in the eyes. And I'm sure there'll be a few of them like that. You know what I mean? Walking around the stadium, uh, getting the ump. And I'm sure a lot of these guys will have the ump that the fans always talk about in the past and different eras before. They want to be spoken about now. They've got egos, they've got pride, and I'll make them right. One of the players in the squad that has won a few trophies with Manchester United is Marcus Rashford. Because of his current form, all eyes will be on him again. Do you think that will bother him? Do you think that will excite him? It'd be interesting to see because in the, in the times gone past before, he wasn't the guy that everyone looked to to win the game for us. There was other people more experienced, where now he's much more experienced. He's in a, an unbelievable vein of form. So the pressure is going to be on him to score. But he looks like at the moment he, he loves that pressure. He, he revels in that. And hopefully he steps up again. I think there's not a game in, in recent weeks, weeks the last few months, that he doesn't go into being our number one reason to have a chance of winning the game. You mentioned Casemiro earlier. Mm. Obviously, we've missed him in the last three domestic games because of his suspension. Comes back, we assume, straight into the starting lineup for a cup final. How important will he be at Wembley? Oh, no doubt in my mind he'll play. Um, he's, he's been our most important player, I think, our, him and Marcus Rashford, for different reasons. He's, he seems to be the glue in this team. Um, and I would put a lot of the positives and the form and the consistency in this team down to his presence in this team. Not solely, but he has a huge impact, I think, on this team. We talked about how important it would be for the players to win a trophy. What about the manager, Eric Ten Hag, has an opportunity to win a trophy within six months, I guess, <coughs> taking over the job. How important would that be for him? And for, you mentioned the run-in, for those final games when maybe there are other semi-finals, other cup finals. No, no, this, this, like the players, this is a massive game for him because it's his first trophy. I think the first one's always the one you think, <sighs> and... Like, I, was, I was lucky, my first trophy was the league title, I was spoilt really. But the, the relief that you get, and I'm sure that these players and the manager will get the same relief, like that's the monkey off the back, let's go now. We can focus on everything else without that added pressure of being, you haven't won this and you haven't won that. You're obviously no stranger to picking up a bit of silverware here and there. What advice would you give the players before kickoff? Relax, treat it, try and treat it like any other game. The moment you blow it up to something bigger than what it is, which is a normal game, 90 minutes, 22 players, um, you're on to a hiding to nothing at that point. Um, I've played in games. The, the, my first actual cup, uh, chance to win a trophy was the Carabao Cup, and we got beat by Liverpool. And I hadn't played in a final since I was a kid. And my approach to that game compared to all the other finals and big games I played in after that were very different because I didn't approach it right being my first one. So they need calm individuals in there to steer the ship. Does that come down to, do you think, experienced heads within the squad? Because yeah. it's a really interesting point. Yeah, I was lucky. I walked into a, a, a group of winners. All the guys in my change room had won. I was the only one in there who hadn't won anything. So I could look anywhere in that room and find winners and just look for a bit of guidance, not asking questions, but just see how they're conducting themselves. The players in this change room will be doing that with Casemiro and Varane. Um, so hopefully they have enough steer and pull on these players to be able to guide them through. Do you think that gives us an advantage? Because obviously Newcastle haven't got the squad that we've got in terms of trophies won, even if they weren't won at United. Yeah, I just think we're, we're definitely favourites based on form alone. But